After Mostar, we drove to uh, Sarajevo, which is the biggest city we've been to so far. So waking up in Sarajevo was an eye-opener because we walked around, you'd look at a building and there'd be like, oh, I think that's a bolt hole. And then you'd look at another building and be like, okay, there's like five more. And then another building where there was just, it was just riddled with bolt holes. So it was a, a shocking sort of walk around town to just see the damage that had been done during the War of Independence. Up in the mountainside, outside of Sarajevo, really close to where they did the bobsled for the Olympics Winter Games, 84. Some locals took us to a concrete bank to skate, and it's a pretty sick spot out in the middle of nowhere. heard that there's been mines and leftover debris from the war and it's kind of crazy that it might be a possibility that there's bombs still left over but nobody's really worrying about it right now we're just skating and having fun so after Sarajevo we met up with Vladek Schultz from Germany who met us on the last stop of our trip in Belgrade Serbia yeah, I joined the guys on their last stop of the trip to Belgrade. It's my first time visiting this country and this beautiful city. It has a big historical background, a lot of things to see and to visit, and I'm really looking forward to skate to Belgrade with the guys. <laughs> 